Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much in. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Good block there by Marvin Hagler. Keep it up. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? Do you, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nelly ties up there. Missed the body shot. Bernard Hopkins going old school there. B-hop with your basic one-two. Nice block by Marvin Hadley. And he clinches yet again. Another clinch. Hopkins' movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Scored well up top. Ten clicks on the top. End of round one. Let's go. Hopkins' is last round to me, Teddy, completely ineffective. His accuracy way off the mark, throwing punches, but lost the round. Joe, talking about being off the mark, if you're traveling outside, you're lost. You need a map to find your way. He needs a map right now to find his way. He needs some direction. Carries that punch intended for the head. Step back counter punch there. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Teddy, what was it about Marvin Hagler that so many people were attracted to? What was it about just this, this iron rip chiseled warrior that everybody felt there's a connection for him? I think it was all those things you just alluded to in the shaved head. You know, because he really represented everything that you kind of pictured if you closed your eyes and you thought of a prototypical fighter that you'd like to watch, that you'd like to see, you know, a real <laughs> symbol of what fighting's about. And on top of that, he not only went after you, he not only looked like the product, he was the product. He could box, he could do everything. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Nice strike after catching one by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Got blocked. He missed with that headshot. Hagler's got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Keep those hands up. 
Able to block that away. It was Focus. targeted for his head. Focus. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Halfway through this round. He's tight. Side to side. Move your head. You see him holding on. Marvelous Marvin Hagler hurt. He was hurt badly there. But can he give himself a chance to recover? We will find out. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Marvin Hagler. Just take a look at Marvelous. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Oh, hands up, hands up. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Marvin Hagler's cracked by a shot upstairs. And round three comes to an end. Hopkins is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round. Marvin Hagler stumbled back. He just got hurt. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Goes up top with a right hand. Just wasting everybody's time holding on. Hagler's cheek is cut. You can see it's opening up now. Boy, that could be a factor later on. So that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Marvin Hagler. Halfway through round number four. Target with that hook. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by marvelous Marvin Hagler. That's good work by Bernard Hopkins. The combination punching is something that he stressed to us in the pre fight buildup. Decide to bring it. Not able to land the headshot. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close up look. Hagler's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we could say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's keep changed. Keep He's keep showing them the on, same man. exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working, stay with it until he changes. There's a straight right hand. Bernard Hopkins is showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that, yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Dane 
dangerous left hand from Hagler. Not able to connect with the uppercut. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you have control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Hagler's mouth is bleeding badly. Hopkins has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Hopkins is getting an earful here. He's being reminded you put yourself in position to win, but you have to stay on course in order to win. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Good right hand. And now they're trading blows. What a shot. Big hook comes in. He is staggered and stumbling. Marvelous Marvin with a big left hand. Still a lot of drama to be played out in this round. Hagler's in better shape than he was moments ago, though. Yeah, physically, I agree with you. He's fine physically. But I got a report in camp about a week ago from some of my spies there that he got dropped in sparring. So, Medley, I'm wondering right now if some ghosts have visited him a little bit. Memories from that. and fourth exchange. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Hagler's in a bad place right now. He was tagged. A nice block by Marvin Hagler. Very accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. And round six comes to an end. Wade Hopkins is just doing what he's been doing all night long. We've seen it throughout. He's been scoring well on the inside. He's been hitting those headshots. I don't know what the answer is on the other side, Teddy, but there's got to be something they can do to him. Well, one thing is he has to notice that, yeah, he's staying on the outside, but he's pulling back straight every once in a while. So what you got to do is make believe you're an NFL quarterback. Everybody wanted to be an NFL quarterback, you know, where you lead the receiver. So what you do is you anticipate that he's going to go back, and you aim a punch behind him. Let him walk right into that punch. Let him pull into that punch. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. You got this one. Very effective with the block and then the score. Halfway through the seventh round, Hopkins is missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Watch the hook. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. <laughs> Bernard Hopkins is throwing lots of punches, and not many are landing. But what's that old saying? Hey, you put enough out there, something's going to stick. Well, at least he's controlling the rhythm. He's keeping control of the pace right now. And at least when you're throwing, your opponent, for the most part, he's being handcuffed a little bit. Seconds to go in the seventh. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Marvin Hadwin. Seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard does have it clearly in one direction. Hopkins has earned that lead on the scorecard, but his opponent 
has also done some damage. Yeah, it hasn't been exactly a picnic. I mean, it started off that way, but the ants are coming. They're starting to get over the little bit here. It's getting a little hairy. Blocks that blow, and then a counter uppercut. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Left, right, left, right. Come on, baby. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Come on, punch, punch, punch. That's it. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Bernard Hopkins really has a way of almost going into a shell. Plus, he gives his opponent such angles. He Everybody, is a very okay. tough defensive fighter to conquer. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Not an accurate hook at all. Marvin Hagler's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paint. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas, and it's not looking real pretty right now. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And round eight comes to an end. Hagler's plan was not supposed to be this result that we're getting here. Now it's later in the fight, and his opponent is still able to score with ease out at range. Well, his corner has to think about doing something drastic here. Taking all these shots, this fight is in danger of being stopped. He's definitely going to lose it anyway. Maybe do something I tried years ago with Mills Lane. Believe it or not, bring them over to the corner, use them a little bit, use the referee. Bring them over to the corner and say, listen, if he doesn't change, I want you stopping this fight the next round. This way you put your fighter on notice what's going on. Accuracy an issue there, didn't land that straight right hand. seconds into the ninth round. Showing you some defense there with the block. Hopkins is putting on a show here. Defensively putting on a show. And it's helping his offense because, you know, he's creating holes. He's creating opportunities. Holes that he's filling as he makes his opponent miss. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Oh, what a great ability to recover. And now he's on the record of saying, I saw that one. That's a warning for the low blow. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Still no defense out of there. Still no ability to stop this onslaught. He's taking serious damage. And you got to worry about his future because the damage he's taking right now for tonight, okay, we understand that, but how is this going to impact him for the future? That's where you're starting to get into a danger zone right now. Keep pushing. Take it off. Come on, kid, focus now. I need you to focus. Move, move. How about that exchange? Hopkins is left now getting into the mix. There you go. In a strange way, now it could create an offensive opportunity. Hagler's opponent is drawn to that cut he opened up, but 
it now could force him to be reckless coming in. Uh, you're exactly right. So, you know, if you're the one cut, you have a job to do. You have a responsibility. You know, don't let that throw you off. You know, stay to your game plan. But if you cause the cut, you have something that's a responsibility. Don't get all the anxious like you just said. Don't just start going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. Once again to the head. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Gets rid of that body shot. Do that again. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Good job protecting himself. Targets the hook after blocking that shot. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And that's the end of round 10. Round. round number 11 is underway. Teddy's scorecard has a commanding lead here. You know, it's just been that kind of night. Hopkins has been doing this his way every step of the way. Is there any hope for his opponent? Not if he doesn't think there is. Not if the spirit has been stepped on. There's always hope up to that point, oh, though. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. See how he targets that hook? He scored well after being hit himself. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Bernard Hopkins is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Move those feet! 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Blocks that belt line well. Hopkins is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed. You're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Back to the body. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Adler's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. comes to an end. Bernard Hopkins' cleverness has really shown up here tonight. He's been just outsmarting his opponent, hitting these headshots, doing it from range. If this is to turn around towards the end of this fight, how will it happen? Well, what he has to do is opponent has to start timing his jab a little bit. You know, there's two ways to take away your opponent's jab if it's controlling range. One is with your own jab, the other is with the right hand. Start chucking right hands over it. Make him a little afraid of using that jab. Took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Hopkins is fine right now. Don't go thinking that what happened just moments ago is affecting him. Way through this 12th and final round. Nice work, nice work. Lands the counter. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by marvelous Marvin Hagler. doing 
exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Adler's cut is not looking good at all. I'm getting the sense that this fight could be stopped at any moment. So the key is where the cut is. When the referee brings the doctor up to look at it, he's gonna look at whether or not getting worse will imperil his health down the road. Well, you should lose your judge's license if you have it any other way but the obvious. Yeah, if they do that, I want to put those guys on a poster, a water poster, but you don't want them. Here's our ring announcer. performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for and it's exactly what the judges will